Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have part two, as promised, of my Cezanne haul. So these are the bits that I didn't show in part one, obviously. If you haven't watched part one yet, then I will leave it linked in the cards for you to watch after this video or before, whichever you wanna choose. Today I have a review of four more of the items that I bought in that order, and I'm gonna get straight into it with the first one. Okay, so I did actually order two sandy skirts in this particular order partly because they're two different materials. So I wanted to compare this version to the floral Calvi version that I ordered in the first video. So the floral Calvi print is 100% viscose and this solid color is 100% polyester. So I wanted to compare the feel, the drape, how thick the material was. Obviously, generally I go for viscose over polyester, but for a satin slip skirt like this, uh, I wanted to see what the difference really was. Now comparing the two, the floral sandy skirt and the viscose is definitely slightly thinner feeling. Um, and I would argue that it doesn't drape quite as nicely as the thicker polyester because this one is a little bit thicker, more substantial. It feels heavier. It almost feels more luxurious, ironically, than the viscose version. Now I like both. I actually prefer the sandy skirt in terms of the color and the pattern. I think it suits me a little bit better than this one. And I also found it a lot easier to style, although it's patterned, it's floral. I found this particular color quite hard to pair with anything in my wardrobe. I think it's just because I don't really own things that go with this color. I tried it with black, I didn't really like it that way. I tried it with white, I didn't really like it that way. I ended up going for this pink top from Reformation, which I didn't really like the silhouette. I didn't like the long top with the skirt. I would prefer a shorter top, but I liked the color combination. So I'm just showing that you that as an example of what color I would pair with this skirt. I liked the light pink with it, but yeah. I'm not going to be keeping this one, although I do actually quite like the drape of it and the fit of it. The, the fit in terms of the size is the same. I got them both in an EU40 and they both fit fine on the waist actually really well. But yeah, I think of the two, I definitely prefer the Sandy, even though I think this has a more kind of luxurious drape, although it's polyester. I guess it's just thicker. Um, it's a little bit more shiny, a little bit more sheeny. So I would recommend both. I think they're true to size and I think they're lovely skirts. I just really, as much as I like the color of this and I do think it's a color that suits me and is within my color palette, I don't know how to style it and I don't really have many things in my wardrobe that go with it and I don't wanna buy something that I can't just wear straight away with the pieces that I already own. So that is the first item, won't be keeping this one, but it is a beautiful skirt. I know a lot of people love this skirt and I would recommend it if you're looking for a bias cut slip skirt like this, I think go for either the polyester or the viscose. It comes in about five different colors. So you'll probably be able to find one that suits your color palette, your wardrobe. But yes, just this particular color is a no go for me, I think. The second item I have to show you is this beautiful Nissa dress. This is a dress that they've done in various different colors over the years. This particular version is the, I would almost call this a light yellow. It's almost more strong than an ecru, but I, I guess you could call it an ecru as well with these goldy, bronzy, orange polka dots. I really like the silhouette of this dress. However, I definitely think this runs quite big, particularly if you're smaller on top. I think if you're small on top like me, I would go down a size. If you're bigger, then I would probably stay stay true to size, but it definitely is quite loose on me at the top. This is a 38, my usual size, arguably my smaller kind of range of my usual sizes. I range between a 38 and a 40, and yeah, the 38 just feels a little bit too big, to be honest. So I think if I was gonna buy this again, I would definitely size down to the 36. I don't love, I like the silhouette of it and I think it's very versatile. I think you can dress this up to something like a wedding, you can dress it down to um, like just wearing every day with flats. So I do like that about it, but I don't know, there was just something a little bit off. I think the fit was mainly throwing off a little bit. It is lined, so you've got a full lining so you don't have to worry about it being see-through. Um, the lining is viscose and the main fabric is a polyester. It is a pleated skirt, so it's quite similar to the June skirt, but obviously with a top half as well. It has these tie straps. Obviously, I will show you this in the cut cutaway on me, but I like these tie straps as long as you do them up tight enough because it means you can have them at the perfect length for you and it's just a completely 
adjustable and tailored fit as opposed to something that doesn't adjust and tailor and I often find that those run at too low cut for me I need the the straps shorter even though I am quite an average height so yes I do like this one um it also comes in green and I know they used to do other colors you might be able to find some on Vinted because it's a style of dress they've done for a number of years but they just they update the colors for every season so yes that's the Nissa dress again another one I won't be keeping but it's not that I don't recommend it, it's just not one that's personally right for me. Next up we have the, I think this is the Alicia, yeah, the Alicia dress. This is one I've wanted to try for quite a while now. I would say this came out a good few months ago. Um, it's really beautiful. This is the midi version, but it does come in a mini as well, if that's more your preference. And it's just a very simple dress. It's a black and white daisy print with these really pretty fluty sleeves. They're quite a short cap sleeve, but they're very pretty and they just kind of float on the shoulder. And then you have a shirt back um, at the back and this almost kind of sweetheart neckline at the front. It goes down into a standard midi length with a split up one side. It's a very flattering dress. It's a really easy to wear dress. As soon as I got this, I put it on straight away because it's one of those dresses that just doesn't take any effort to style, to wear. You wear it with flats, you wear it with heeled sandals and it can go really easily from more casual to more dressed up, but you never feel too dressed up in a dress like this. It's 100% viscose and it is unlined, but obviously it is black. So you really don't have to worry about it being sheer or see-through or anything like that. I got mine in my usual size, which is a UK 10. I would say if it's absolutely fine, I'm not going to I think I'm going to keep this one I'm not going to exchange this one I would say if you're between sizes you could potentially size down again I found like the Nissa dress not to as much to the extent of the Nissa dress which definitely runs I would say a size big um, I found this one a little bit loose at the top but not quite loose enough to size down because I would worry that it would be too tight around the hips in a size down but yes that's just something to bear in mind if you are between sizes I would recommend going for the smaller one particularly if you're small up top like me it's a very beautiful dress I really like it it's so easy to wear there's just no effort as I said involved it's one of those dresses that's going to work every summer it's never going to go out of style it's nothing groundbreaking it's a floral midi dress but it's definitely something that has a place in my wardrobe and something that when it's warm outside I will just grab and go with this because it's really easy to choose it put on some sandals a bag and you're ready to go the final item I have to show you is a skirt I'm actually wearing it now uh, I will show you a little bit of the pattern um so yes I will show you obviously it on me in the try on clip it's the Tabata skirt in this um it's definitely an ecru with a pink floral I absolutely love this I have never tried the Tabata skirt before and I honestly don't know why because the fit is absolutely perfect it has skyrocketed to my favorite Cezanne skirt style for sure I've tried the I think it's the Alicia skirt I've tried the Sandy skirt in the two different versions. I've tried the Tabata and I've also tried, which is coming up in my next video, the Sakura skirt, I think it's called. Um, I've got the Farm Rio version. And the Tabata is definitely the most flattering and best fit and length for me personally. I absolutely love it and it's why particularly I'm not going to keep either of the sandy skirts that I ordered because I just love the Tabata way more and I think if I was going to get another Cezanne skirt I would get it in this particular cut because it is definitely my favourite. I got it in my usual size which is a UK 12, EU 40, it fits absolutely dreamy on the waist, it's perfect, it's not too tight but it's not too loose, it sits exactly where I want it to sit on the waist and the length is really lovely as well. I absolutely love pink especially this year so I love the pink floral on this, it's very easy to wear but it's still a, a pop of colour and I found that it does go unlike the purple sandy skirt it does go with a lot of other things that I already own in my wardrobe which is also really nice I compare this with multiple tops that I already own and I feel like it goes really well I paired it with my pink um with nothing underneath shirt that I got on vintage and I absolutely love the combo maybe too much pink for some people but definitely not for me so yes if you're a similar size to me I would highly recommend trying the Tabata skirt if you haven't already because the fit is just so nice if you've got a big waist to hip ratio I think you're gonna love this because it really comes in on the waist and um because of the cut it flows just effortless effortlessly 
um, away from the hips. It doesn't cling at all. And the length is really nice. It's slightly longer than the sandy skirt. And as I was saying in my last video, I was wishing that the sandy skirt was a little bit longer. Um, so this is perfect for me. I think this skirt would look really good with espadrilles. I don't have any espadrilles, but I'm definitely on the hunt for some. some. I'm trying to find some on Vinted um, because I think it would look really nice. I think that's actually how it was styled on the Cezanne website with a white shirt and espadrilles. And I really liked that styling. But yeah, I got loads of compliments on this skirt and I posted it on Instagram. If you're not following me, on Instagram make sure to go over there and follow me because I'm posting more of my daily outfits um, both on stories and on reels as well but yeah loads of people really loved this skirt on Instagram as well so it's definitely a favorite and it comes in multiple different colors and patterns as well so if the the white and pink isn't your style I know they've got a green um, polka dot one which is really cute and a few other styles as well so I thought I would let you know what I'm keeping from my two videos because some people have asked me to update to you on what I'm actually keeping from my hauls. So definitely the Tabata skirt, probably mm, one of my favorite pieces from the two videos for sure, particularly just because the fit is so perfect on me. I feel like I finally found my perfect fit in a Cezanne skirt and one that I can go to when they bring it out in future colors and patterns and things like that. The next thing I'm gonna be keeping is the Alicia dress just because of how easy it is to wear. As I said, it's such an easy style when it's hot in the summer. Um, I love the sleeve. I love that it's not sleeveless, but it's quite a short floaty sleeve. And I do really like the fit through the body. And then the final item I think I am gonna to be keeping is the Isaiah dress from my first video. I know it's a little bit impractical and I know I said I wasn't sure if I should keep it because it's a knitted summer dress and I was just kind of confused about when to wear it but a few of you commented saying just wear it whenever when you're going to the supermarket when you're going out for fr with friends that kind of thing and I was like you're so right I should just wear it I feel really good in it so I think it's one of those dresses that you just need to get over the fact that it feels a little bit more formal and just wear it for more casual day-to-day -day events as well and I'll definitely be bringing it on holiday with me when I go on holiday next month probably will be too hot to wear during the day but I'm thinking for the evening it might be perfect as well. Okay that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed seeing those items let me know what you thought of them down below. My next video will be out very soon and that is on the Farm Rio collaboration the few bits that I bought from that so do like this video if you're looking forward to seeing that one as well. If you'd like some more videos to watch I will leave some on screen here for you to pick from otherwise I will see you very soon in my next video.